Hey guys, my name is Hugo Brantune Jr. and today we have a very special unboxing. Finally, after so long, I actually don't know what the holdup was, but after so long, the long-awaited amazing character that we've been waiting for, all of us have been waiting for, at least I hope all of us have been waiting for, you know, I was waiting for definitely because it's my favorite color. We have the almighty Ryan, Ryan. I'm very excited because he looks really good. He looks really good in this. Bachman made him really well, I'd like to say. I'm, I'm literally already stabbing this thing open. Honestly, I should show the box first. So <laughs> here we have, here we have him in the box. We have Bachman on the bottom. We have Ryan there. Moving eyes, of course, which is amazing. I'm so happy he has moving eyes. I'm very, very happy. I would love for some modelers out there, 3D printer people out there, y'all should definitely make his expressions. That would be lovely if y'all made his expressions. I would definitely buy them, most certainly. I haven't bought any expressions for any of the engines. I know a lot of people make Bachman expressions but i haven't gotten any of them but to be honest if somebody makes like ryan expressions that's gonna be the first ones i buy because he's he's like one of my favorite characters so anyways yeah look we got ryan we got little weird cgi thomas on the top so yeah that's funny anyways we have these engines at the back too and my eyes very itchy so don't mind if i'm scratching my eye i feel like i have a rock in my eye so like don't mind that, you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah, there's all the engines. They always have like the stock engines on the back. Then they got Ryan. They got Ryan. I know they had Daisy last time when I opened Daisy. Oh my God, I just realized that Ryan and Daisy literally go together. And I'm pretty sure that's why they made them both. Cause they literally go together. Oh my goodness. Now I have Ryan and Daisy and they work on the same area of the railway, so. That's pretty fire. I forgot that they work together. I don't know why I forgot, but you know, they literally work together. So that makes sense as to why they released them both. But they're like the least likely engines that I thought would be like made. I literally thought like years ago, I was like, I wish Ryan was made in Bachman, but I didn't think it would be a possibility. And here he is in my hands. So what a way, what a way the world works, huh? Also, this, this skizzer is very shiny. Anyways, it is time to open it, huh? He looks so good. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna scratch him up. I'm gonna scratch him up on purpose. And then, you know, he will be a, a scrap engine. <laughs> Imagine. But yeah, so here here's the first cut. Gotta cut through the whole corners to make sure the box is secure i seen somebody actually open this with like a knife and it was like the easiest for i'm just very scared of knives because like i don't want to cut myself by accident it was like a really sharp blade like one of those like pocket knives whatever like the you know the the fucking industrial ones i don't know how to explain it so it was like it was just so easy to cut through they literally went if the scissors don't fall out, they went like all around it, like mad fast. And I was like, hello. That literally is like the easiest way to open the box, isn't it? The corners are so hard to cut through. Please, please. Oh. It's falling, it's falling, it's literally falling out. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 don't go back up. Stop this. I feel like that plastic could definitely cut through like the engine's paint. So I was very nervous about taking it out. Oh my God. I, oh God, what happened to his front coupling? The front coupling's already bent. I cannot, I literally cannot destroy him at all. Don't die. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. The sound of the plastic bending in. I love that. I actually don't like the noise. <laughs> Sounds very terrible, but anyways. Wow, he has a lot of details. 
us, us Thomas tankies, us Thomas tankies literally thirsting over like any slight detail that's 3D. Cause look, why, we just got like handrails and whatever these things are. They're like really 3D. Like they just started making 3D stuff like that. So it's just funny. Cause obviously like, of course other model engines are very, very detailed, like more detailed than like Thomas Bachman stuff. But it's just funny. Like we literally don't get that little stuff. We're finally getting that stuff. Oh my God, I'm so excited for Bo. <laughs> Bo looks so good. Like, come on guys. Anyways, let me let me change into not cinematic. Here we go. He's not on focus now. So there is face. There is face. He's very glowing. He's glowing. And there's the side of him. He looks amazing. Like what the heck? And he looks long. I love long engines. They just look so regal, you know? They look really regal. Like Thomas and Percy, they look short and stumpy and shit. But like Arthur and Ryan, they look so long and like fancy because there's so much room for detail since they're, they're longer engines. Like Emily, I think Emily's really pretty. I love her design because she's long and like has so much. Oh my God, that's something I love. The running board, like the front. I love how long the, the front of her is. There's like so much flat area. It looks really like fancy to me since she has such like a, a big area that's in the front. Of course he ha he doesn't have very much of an area at the front, but like he still looks good anyways because he has all the details on the side. So that's all right. And it looks like there's a fingerprint here and I hate that. Why, Why is there a fingerprint? Who opened this and repackaged it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God. And the, the Ryan, the Ryan nameplate is literally 3D. Like it's not like stickered on, or not stickered on, it's not printed on. His nameplate's actually 3D and shit. And his eyes look very tiny. <laughs> well, actually, to be honest, his face isn't as tiny as the other ones. I was like, how did they make a eye mechanism in this? But actually I still do question that because he has this really long area at the front. So I'm just wondering how long the sticks are. Like how long is that? How long is the the like poles to connect to his eyes to move? Cause there's a lot of this area here. So I'm just wondering how far it has to go in to actually move. But his cab is also open, which is really cool. It's completely open except like down here, you can't actually fit anything in there but the cab itself is open, which is nice, but also I don't like that you could probably see that there's no driver in there. I mean, you know, who actually puts a driver in their engines? Everybody. So yeah, and his lamp is amazing. His back lamp is really cool and his wheels are amazing. My, my leg is so itchy. I got eczema on there. Nobody, shh, anyways, so, Oh my God, and all the bolts too, all the bolts on the side. Look at how grand and regal he looks. Of course, he actually does look really regal and like important. He looks very royal, like because purple is a royal color. Purple was actually very expensive. If any of you all didn't know, purple was like the most expensive color because it was really hard to make purple. So it was only owned by like rich people. Only rich people could really get purple and shit, so. Purple's just a really royal color. Of course, it's more common now. Like purple's not that hard to make anymore, but it used to be back then. And obviously gold is a very royal color too. So just the gold accents and purple makes him look very high class. I think he's very high class looking, but his face is a very much duplicate of Thomas, except it's not triangle eyebrows. Uh, but it, he looks good anyways. He looks like a bigger Thomas, like if Thomas just upgraded in a different universe. But I still love Ryan anyways, regardless, even if he has the face of like a, a duplicate Thomas. But I love that there's golden bolts on his side rods. That's really cool. And I love the wheels. The outer lines of the wheels is black. So it makes his wheels look a little bit smaller which is really cool. And his bogey is really great. His bogey moves back and forth. Of course, this is the main area where the electricity goes through, as you can tell. And 114, 
Delta 114 and GNR Great Northern Railway, is that what that is? I don't know, to be honest. But as I was saying, you can see the, the 3D accents over here. You can see that it's actually like 3D instead of imprinted on. Of course, these parts are 3D as well, but they're not popping out. This is actually like something that could come off. Uh, if you banged it hard enough, it'd probably break off. But his coal bunker, oh my god, his coal bunker is ginormous. And we have the back lamp. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all. My dad actually bought this Ryan for me, which is amazing. And I actually got it from Train World. I pre-ordered it from Train World a long time ago, I think last year. So of course I was waiting a long time. But yeah, Ryan looks so good. I really want to run him on the tracks. And here's all the decorations on the top side of him. You can see all of his decorations. There's like his whistle and I don't know what those bars are, but they look very important. I don't know, they look like electric wires, to be honest. And these bumps on the top, they're kind of like reminiscent. They remind me of Daisy's bumps on her cab. And there's the front of him, of course. And I don't know what that is behind his funnel, but there's a little cap on the funnel. A uh, cap behind the funnel, it looks like maybe it's something for more steam. I have no clue. But there's the dome and some holes on the side of him and this beam coming down the side of his smoke box. I would love to run him, but I have no idea where my tracks are, so that might have to be saved for another video. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. What do y'all rate him? Tell me in the comments what you think uh, he looks like. Like, how good do you think he looks? On a scale from 1 to 100, how, how good do you think he looks? I think he's like a million out of 10. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And I'm definitely going to be using him in videos for sure. He looks really good. And I'm just happy that he came out. Like, what a dream come true, to be honest. He looks really good. And he's going to be coming with me everywhere. I think I'm going to take him, like, everywhere. Hope I don't lose him. Make sure I don't lose him, guys. <laughs> I hope I don't lose him or break him. Even worse. I, I think it would be worse if I broke him. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. And like I said, tell me what you think about Ryan's model in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Also, P.S. guys, I don't know if y'all know this little fact, but in between this cardboard and the back of the box, there's always going to be these, like, diagrams on how they built the engine. There's all the pieces, like, all the individual pieces, like, codes and numbers you need to know. So this is how Ryan was put together. I find that really cool. And they also have like a return thing in the back of these. So always make sure to take those out. I think it's very important to take out the return policies and like return pamphlets and also the, the pieces sheets. So yeah, that's all. Hope y'all enjoyed.